Hello everyone and welcome back to another, a pretty interactive, a beautiful chess miniature by this time Emmanuel Lesker. His opponent was a chess player with no name and I think this was from a chess simul and it was played in 1905 somewhere in the United States. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Lesker's opponent who had the white pieces starts the game with e4 and we have e5 by Emmanuel Lesker. d4 and immediately charging at the center. Lesker simply captures the pawn, developing the bishop and then bishop to b4, checking the king and bishop to d2, exchanging the bishops and in this position actually pushing the c-pawn and defending the d-pawn is possible. But Lesker played knight to f6, leaving the pawn for the quick activity and for castling very quickly. But uh, black could also play knight to c6, uh, but if knight to c6, then knight to f3 and defending this pawn is going to be tricky. Uh, but the computer chess engine loves knight to c6, knight to c6. So in the real chess game, we have knight to f6 and then simply capturing on d4. And Lesker simply castled, developing the knight. Well, in this position, knight takes on e4 is possible. Because if queen takes pawn, I think rook to e8 is going to pin and win. So I think knight takes on e4 is possible here. So white is defending the pawn and Lesker played Actually not a logical move, but he played the most exciting move in this position. Emmanuel Lesker was known as a pretty psychological chess player as he, he liked to harass his opponents with, with playing some harassing moves and this was one of them. He played d5 and this is confusing his opponent a little bit and Lesker was also extremely confident. So d5 and how should white play here? Well, we have bishop to d3, actually the most obvious move, capturing the pawn with the pawn should have been considered and that was a pretty good move. Uh, so that is going to open the e-file, rook over checking the king looks little bit dangerous but then white could simply defend with the knight. But in this position bishop to d3 was not a very good move because white is losing a very important tempo. Uh, but in this position, bishop takes on d5 is a losing move because of c6. And the bishop is pinned if you move the bishop, then capturing the queen and white is losing. Bishop takes pawn check is not working because of king takes. So bishop takes is going to be a blunder. And if knight takes, then simply in this position, black has a very strong move. What would you do if you had the black pieces? Then knight takes on e4 of course and if queen takes on e4 then rook over is pinning and winning. So these are some of the ideas of Emmanuel Lesker maybe when he pushed the d-pawn after d5. Uh, but simply e takes on d5 should have been considered in this position. Nevertheless, we have bishop to d3 in the real chess game after developing the knight, defending the queen and then simply d takes on e4. And of course white is capturing back and knight takes, queen takes again is going to fail to rook over, pinning and winning. So bishop takes on e4 but Lesker played rook over to e8. And how to deal with this? Pushing the c-pawn, uh, pushing the f-pawn is possible. Uh, so how to defend, what to do in this position, it looks like this is a very tricky position. So in this position the player with no name is defending with all his life after playing king to f1, unpinning the bishop but this looks extremely awkward and this can't be right. A uh, knight to e2 should have been considered but in this position black has this very strong move queen to g5, this is actually a very strong move and can you see the reason? Okay, so in this position black is actually threatening to play b5, deflecting the queen, if queen takes then rook takes. So if something like bishop takes on c6 then 
capturing the bishop. And if queen takes on c6, then black has a very strong move. Uh, and that is bishop to d7, sacrificing the bishop. And this was the idea of Emone Lesker. So if capturing on d7, then rook over. And after defending the queen, check. And basically white is getting checkmated. There is no need to capture the knight. White is getting checkmated. So in this position, after rook over, as you can see, this is a very tricky position. But king to f1 was the worst move. It was not a very good move because of, can you see the move? It is black to move. Well, white overlooked something, but can you see what white missed? It should be easy, especially after the variations that I have demonstrated. Okay, so Emmanuel Lesker played b5, so this is the move. Sacrificing the v-pawn for deflecting the queen. If defending the queen, let's say queen to b3, then simply capturing the bishop. So this is why in this position, the player with no name captured on b5. And this was his idea after capturing the bishop with the rook. Actually, the game ended very quickly. But this was his idea after capturing the bishop. Queen takes knight and that is forking the rooks and maybe white is going to have some chance. But white missed something very important. Emmanuel Lesker simply captures the bishop. After queen takes on c6, capturing and this is forking the rooks, maybe developing the bishop and defending the rook comes to mind. Maybe something like bishop to f5. But in this position, Emmanuel Lesker played the strongest move possible in this position, and that was a complete bone crusher. So can you guess that move? After that move, his opponent resigned. White resigned on the spot. What would you do if you had the black pieces? Okay, I hope you have seen Rook to e6. So this was the move of Emmanuel Lesker and nothing works for white. Sacrificing the Rook and white actually resigned on the spot after this move. Can you see why? Let me show you the possible continuation. If the most obvious move, if capturing the Rook, then simply checking the King with the Bishop and this is going to be a discover attack to the king. Blocking with the knight is the only defense. And then simply capturing the queen. Blocking with the knight or pushing the c-pawn. Uh, all of them is losing. So this is all over for white. What a game by Emmanuel Lesker. But let's check out what happens if something more sensible. Let's say queen to c3. Actually this is not sensible. Uh, this is anything but not sensible. <laughs> Because of bishop to h6 and how to defend. Blocking with the knight and then rook takes on e2 and this is game over. So in this position if queen to a4 so the idea is after checking the king pushing the pawn and defending is the idea. But this is also losing only defense or blocking with the knight. But this move fails to queen to d3 as it weakens the light square. Only defense and then check mate at the back rank. So thank you so much for watching. So basically this was the final move of this chess game. After rook to e6, Lesker's opponent resigned. A pretty instructive, cute chess miniature by the great Emmanuel Lesker, who had the black pieces in this chess game. So I hope to see you next time with more instructive chess games from the history of chess and sometimes uh, we will also check out up-to-date chess games. Stay safe, take care, and bye-bye.